While the governor's office has not yet confirmed the national reports that news organizations across the country are reporting that President-elect Donald Trump has selected South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem to be the secretary of the Department of Homeland Security. Kettleland's Dan Santella brings us to the state capitol to hear from lawmakers not only about Noem, but also the prospect of a new governorship in Pierre. Substantial changes could be coming to South Dakota's state government. Governor Kristi Noem is reportedly headed to Washington to serve as Homeland Security Secretary in the upcoming Trump administration. Republican lawmakers Will Mortensen and Chris Carr welcome the news. I'm not surprised. I'm happy for the governor. Uh, look forward to you know working with you know Larry Roden and whatever that transition team looks like. It's exciting for South Dakota to have a member of President Trump's cabinet uh, come from our state. You know, a lot of times when these cabinets get put together, it's people from the coast, and it's really exciting to know that our perspective is going to be shared in President Trump's cabinet. Democrat Reynold Nesiba is less enthusiastic about the development. It's clear the governor has a passion for issues related to, uh, to border security. Uh, on the other hand, I'm a little concerned about just her ability to, uh, to manage staff. We've had a lot of turnover in her office. For his part, Republican Lee Schoenbeck says national developments don't really capture his attention. What I think about that is the implication for my state, uh, which is Larry Roden will step up to be the next governor. And boy, you got a governor that's uh, been trained well. I mean, he's, he's knowledgeable about the legislature. He's served in both houses. Known becoming a cabinet secretary in the federal government would require her to resign her current position. Today, these legislators compliment the man who looks set to become South Dakota's next governor. I think Larry Roden is likely to spend a lot more time in South Dakota than Governor Nome has been, so I think that he will have a better with the, uh, the legislature of members of, uh, of both parties than, uh, than Governor Nome has had. Look forward to working with Larry. I know that we can work together, uh, talk about what's important to South Dakota, prioritize you know, between the executive branch and the legislative branch. Working in the Senate together, we have to make hundreds, I mean literally hundreds and hundreds of decisions. I can think of two times we disagreed. Larry Roden's been around the Capitol and has been serving our state for a long time. Uh, if he indeed does become the governor, I'll be uh, excited to shake his hand and get to work with him. In Pier, Dan Centella, Kelloland News. While Mortensen and Carr will continue serving in the legislature, Schoenbeck and Nessaba are outgoing lawmakers who won't be in Pier come January.